Hey, this is RJ May, and you're watching Mr. Mario 2011. Hey, what is going on everyone? It is me, Mr. Mario, and today I did not expect to do a video, but I got one of these things right here. I got a loot crate, and this is the April loot crate that I got. So I got this yesterday, technically, on April 19th, but I checked my mail at, like, about midnight last night or so, and if I seem a little off, I'm just throwing this out there. I probably went to sleep at about 2 a.m., and I've been awake since about 6.30. So I've been awake for about an hour so far, and honestly, I might go to sleep after I record this video, but we'll see. Since I was awake, I felt like doing it anyways because I did not do it last night when I came home, just because I would have been way too tired to do it. Anyways, I'm going to be covering this Loot Crate unboxing here, and I'm doing this format just due to the fact that people have requested that I kind of do this format a bit, and for people who really don't know about it, with every video I ask, I, I alternate a bit, but I asked, what do you want? Do you want to see only the contents of the box on camera, or do you want to see myself on camera as well? And people were saying that they wanted to see myself on camera more with the box, but if you want to deviate off that, go ahead and let me know uh, just what you prefer and whatnot. And also, I was going to say, as I do in every Loot Crate unboxing, that in case you don't know what Loot Crate is, I want to say... You can get a one month, a three month, or a six month subscription, and the one month is $13.37 plus $5 shipping if you're in the US. And then with the other two, they increment by a dollar. So a three month subscription is $12.37 a month, and then the six month subscription is $11.37 a month. Um, and pretty much every month, they try and give you, you know, a little over $20 worth of, you know, need, like nerd and geek geekery value things that are in here so the last two months i've been getting t-shirts and whatnot with them which has been really cool because honestly the t-shirts kind of pay for themselves with that and then anything else is a bonus and last month's was really cool there's some months that are better than other months but last month uh it was attack on titanfall and it was all titan themed so i love titanfall and i've been one to watch attack on titan for a while i still haven't watched that guys i'm sorry but that was pretty much what it was so before I start this, I am going to say that if you are interested in getting a loot crate, as always, there is a link down in the description where you could go ahead and purchase your own. However, because I like being transparent with you all, I do want to say that it is a referral link. So it does help me out a little bit on the website. So if you want to help me out and get a loot crate at the same time, feel free to use that referral link. If you don't want to help me out at all in any way, it's totally cool. I understand that. Thank you very much for the viewership. You can just go ahead and go to lootcrate.com get your stuff there and I'm not sponsored by them in any way or anything like that I just put down that referral link in the description so enough talking let's go ahead and open up this thing so first off this is what I noticed with it there's at least like one or two things moving around in this and it is way too there's a lot it feels very airy so there's definitely not a t-shirt in here which as I said uh, you don't get a t-shirt every month but the past two months I got t-shirts which was nice but they didn't give you one this month. Uh, but the box itself is quite small with what it is. So I have, I don't know anything about this box. For once, I actually made the video before I got any spoilers of what the loot crate was. So that's kind of nice. Let's go ahead and open up this thing. Got it all opened. All right. And we'll see what this is. And of course, everything tips for the unperfect, un well, perfect unboxing. Mixing up everything here. All right. And let's see what this is. So... The whole theme of this is dragon, and I already see some Game of Thrones stuff, so awesome. And this is this is pretty much just a guide showing what's in here and, you know, things that you could win and whatnot. Like, there's also the epic loot crate, um, which in case you don't know, just one lucky winner will get a really, really awesome loot crate. Like, I think there was, this is like after the PS4 and Xbox One came out. Um, I think the epic loot crate was something like, it had the PS4 and the Xbox One and a bunch of other gaming stuff in it, which was pretty cool. But... Because this does contain spoilers of what is in here, I normally save this until the end when we review it at the end. Alright, and let's see. The first thing we have here is the Nord. And I was kind of taking a peek at it and, uh, Ebonheart packed right there. This is from the Elder Scrolls Online from what I see. I was about to say Skyrim, but on the back they have a little description and they're talking about Skyrim. So I was kind of close with it. Uh, and it's a Loot Crate exclusive apparently, so I don't know what this is. Maybe it's a bobblehead of some kind, I'm not sure. And... Okay, I have to open this up. <laughs> That's the only thing with these loot crates. There is a lot of packaging to go through and whatnot. But let's go ahead and cut this thing open here. All 
right. Oh my god, that's awesome. <laughs> so we got this little guy right here, and I don't... Did, uh, did stuff come off? Okay. So we have a little hat that comes off, and the, just this guy here, and I guess he can move... Yep, you can move his head around, and you can do an exorcist thing on it too, which is slightly creepy at the same time, but... This is just a little thing I'm gonna have at my computer desk. So we got the little Nord figurine right here. And I don't know what else came with this. Uh, well, what other people got with theirs. So if you got one this month, like tell me what you got because I got the Nord. So we'll see what we got here. Next, let's see. Okay, we got a pin as we always do. And it is a Loot Crate April 2014 dragon pin. So just a little pin to have. Nothing too special right there. Oh, sweet. There is a dog tag. I personally like dog tags, so let's see what this is. All right, Dragon Slayer. <laughs> nice. So just got this nice little Dragon Slayer dog tag, as I'm showing right here. And then it's not, they don't have the actual chain on there or anything, but it does come with a chain, which is nice to have. So I can just go ahead, you know what, I'll just go ahead and thread this and everything while I'm on camera and just set this up. I kind of collected dog tags for a while, too, just for giggles. Nothing, like, super serious for just, you know, like, band dog tags and things like that, because I've always thought they were cool. All right. Awesome. So we got that already. So, little Dragon Slayer dog tag. Got that. What is this? Mikey's Dragon Slayer Beef Jerky. Fuss row yums. <laughs> I was trying to, like, look at this, guys. It's green. Um, manufactured for Loot Crate Incorporated, Los Angeles, California, and it is dragon jerky, so... Yeah, I'm gonna try this. Okay. <laughs> I was really debating if I want to try this, because I'm like, I'm not in an eating mood right now, but I kind of want to try it on camera at the same time. I also just had breakfast and everything, so that's why. I hope it's good, but I don't think they would put anything gross in here, so... Oh, actually, it doesn't smell bad at all. Okay. It was kind of throwing me off with the green thing, but let's go ahead and try this. That, oh my goodness, that is really, really good. That is really good. It's like it's soft and everything, and it has a lot of flavor to it, too. You know what? I have to say I'm actually disappointed that this is only in Loot Crate stuff, because it's beef jerky, all right. It's only, in, yeah, it looks like, where was it? Manufactured for Loot Crate Incorporated. Although it might be somewhere else. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I might have to order this. I don't know. Mikey's Dragon Jerky, everyone. It's really beef jerky. But still, it's all green. And I'll go ahead and get another piece here while I'm opening up the next thing. So, it's pretty good. Um, I want to say last, yeah, last month they gave me candy, I believe. Sometimes they give you edibles. Okay. Oh, sweet little plushy dice thing right here and how many sides is this is this a i won't say this is a 20 sided dice okay so honestly it's funny this this weekend i've mentioned it a few times but i have never played dungeons and dragons ever i don't have anything against it it's just i never got around to playing it and i got this little dice right here which is an obvious reference to it and then i was talking with some friends on friday and they were all talking about playing dungeons and dragons and whatnot i'm just like i've i've never played it so i'm sorry i'm out of the loop here but yeah a little like 20 sided dice stress dice i was about to say stress ball i mean it is a stress ball but it's like a 20 sided stress dice that's it or die maybe i don't well die would be multiple ones but cool i'll keep this by my computer too i guess that's a nice thing and kind of the annoying thing with this at the same time. Every month they give you a lot of stuff that you can just kind of display everywhere. So I display a decent amount of stuff around my PC. The problem is I'm kind of running out of room. Just a bit. So, yeah. But this will be my nice little stress ball that I could just... Whenever I'm angry at people, I could just squish this. This, is, this will be me like every time I rage on Titanfall, even though I don't rage that much. But go ahead and have that there. Let's see. Oh, and there's an actual dice here too. Okay, and this is, yep, same type of thing. So, same thing, except this is a real one, and it's black. Okay, so I've never had one of these before, so now I have two. Don't know what to think right now. I really don't. <laughs> and this is, uh, yep, it's 20-sided. Okay, I was about to say, good, I didn't mess it up. Like, right here, it actually says 20, and where it should say 20 here, it has the Loot Crate logo. So this is an exclusive little Loot Crate thing, which is kind of nice. There's two more things, you all. Okay. Dragon Shield screen cleaner. Oh, awesome. Okay. I, I, I guess I can demonstrate this for you all as well. 
Uh, in case you all don't know, okay, so this is a Dragon Shield screen cleaner, and might as well use it or else it's just going to stay in the package, but we can go ahead and pull it off, and apparently, let's see, washable, reusable, restickable, peel off, and I don't want to drop that, peel off, clean screen with logo side. So, really what this is meant to do, it's just one of those things I got the Nexus for right here. Um, you can just, like, stick it to the, oh, that looks kind of cool, too. Okay. Just stick it to the back of the phone right there, and then if I feel like, hmm, my screen is really dirty, I could just... You behave, box. I could just peel it off right here, take it, start cleaning the screen on my phone, and let's see how good of a screen cleaner it is. Actually, this isn't bad. This is a lot better than using my shirt, even though I have a screen protector on here, but... Oh, wow, this is actually pretty good. So yeah. You just do that, you clean up the screen, and then when you're done, you just stick it to the back of the phone, and there. I have a nice little decoration again. I think I'm just going to keep this on my phone, just so I have that nice little screen protector. And it does have an LC on there and the Loot Crate uh, little symbol, logo, so Loot Crate. <laughs> Alright, got that. And there is one last thing in this box, and it is a Game of Thrones vinyl figure. Edition 1, not a toy. They, they seriously say on there, at the bottom, not a toy. Mystery Minis. Ah, oh, okay. And I, I just want to say, before I open this, uh, I watched the first season of Game of Thrones, and that was like two years ago. So my Game of, of Thrones knowledge is very limited with what it is. So, if I screwed up, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> if I screwed up the character. And honestly, actually, wait, I just realized, because this, what, these are one of the numbered ones right here, it might not say what character I have in the little booklet, but... Let's go ahead and open this up. So, got off the packaging. We'll go ahead and use the box for the garbage. And, all right. Okay. Almost, I like how they did that. Oh, and there's another package in there. Okay. Oh! <laughs> I was thinking I had to cut it open. Actually, wait, no, they have a little opening. Oh, that's actually really convenient. They have an opening right there. I swear I forgot this guy's name, I'm so sorry. But I got this little figurine right here. And uh, I've actually gotten a few others, like, let's see, I think like two months ago I got this Dunny right here, which is kind of the same thing, so I got this. The only thing with this is that he had a jetpack on his back and then he had like a little, a little button that he could press that would kind of make him fly around. Not like really, but he just had it on here as decoration. And that little button like broke off as soon as I got it, so it's kind of shoddy workmanship i guess i don't know but this is one of those little collectibles so i got another one right here and i really need to look up the names of the characters i'm not game of thrones is an awesome series don't get me wrong i just for some reason didn't watch anything past the first season i, I think i was just waiting for the season to kind of coagulate so i could just binge watch them all at once which is normally what i do with shows anyways but yeah but hmm i'm noticing because they say on here this is not a toy even though it's a little figurine and all that it's kind of cartoony and whatnot and then on here it says age 17 plus so there's not really an adult theme with this or anything but for some reason they do that probably because you know the show is on hbo and everything and i want to say it would be it would probably be tv ma i'm sure which is the equivalent of rated r on tv but uh, i think this is Let's see, 2 slash 24. Okay, I believe this ranks like the rarity of these and whatnot. So I got kind of a common-ish one, but awesome. Okay. <clears throat> that jerky, that dragon jerky. The dragon's trying to come out of me right now. That's what just happened. So anyways, recapping. Let's see, we'll go ahead, go over this. But I got the Game of Thrones figure, as you all can see right here. A 20-sided stress ball, a 20-sided dice, a little Nord figurine from Elder Scrolls Online, which I still have not played. I don't have anything against it. It's just I don't really play MMOs, and I don't really want to get addicted to it. So just haven't played it. Uh, of course, the pin, like we always get every month, representing what type of thing it is. Uh, I had to pull off my phone for this, but the little Loot Crate Shield uh, screen cleaner. That's it. And then what else was here? The dragon jerky, which is really beef jerky, but I'm gonna get another piece of this. This is really good, guys. Okay. Yep, it's still awesome. Um, nope, those, those are just on my keyboard. And then right here, got the dragon slayer dog tag. It's not tags, it's just one tag. And I believe that's it. That's all I'm seeing, so... Mostly, this month's loot crate was just little trinkets and whatnot you could have on your desk or around your apartment, your house, whatever it is. And of course, the theme overall is dragon. So, 
Let me chew the dragon jerky first. And I'm probably eating this guy right here. He'll live in infamy in me for the next like 12 hours, let's say. Okay, now that I swallowed that, let's go ahead and continue this. So, about the dragon thing right here, and it is a little nod, well, obvious reference to Game of Thrones right here, not just a nod, but uh, we got the whole Game of Thrones thing going on, and then he has a chair made of loot crates, which is just awesome. Everything like that on the back, he's not on there, and then let's see, we're gonna go ahead and cover this. Uh, ch -ch 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 okay, don't really feel like reading that, but dragons. That is what we got right here. I'm trying to make sure you all can see this at the same time. And it looks like, okay, they're really covering dragons overall, but of course Skyrim and everything. So, uh, is this, oh, trade chat. Okay, I know who this chick is. Um, the only reason why I know her is because she did an interview with Boogie2988 and then Boogie interviewed her. So, awesome. I'll probably read that at one point. Did you know Game of Thrones put your knowledge to the test? Okay, awesome. And then it shows all the loot crate things right here and see, uh, last month, this was the whole Attack on Titanfall thing, just the Titanfall, the uh, Titan-themed loot crate and whatnot. So, uh, that's another thing as well. Like, they have people's photos and all that, and if you post up your photo on Twitter or Instagram, put, like, the hashtag loot crate, then they might use your photo and they might retweet it, all that stuff. So, we got some stuff about the Elder Scrolls Online. Oh, and here is the Epic Mega Crate, valued at over $1,000. So, let's see, you get... Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Six. Okay, so you get, from what I see, you get, actually it says at the bottom there, but I'm try, kind of trying to figure out everything on my own. You get like six uh, Game of Thrones figures. Uh, one of these types of, is that a gaming laptop? No, I think that's just one of these like laptop style carrying bags where you can put a game console in there. Looks like those are Astros. Okay, you get an Astro headset, Astro backpack, and then Gunner glasses, I believe. And let's see, this month's Epic Mega Crate includes a Games Vanguard Personal gaming environment. Okay, so that was it. The Astro Gaming Scout backpack, Astro Gaming A50 headset, Steel Se Steel Series scope eyewear from Gunner Optics, and the complete set of Funko Game of Thrones legacy figurines. So I pretty much got that right. Awesome. <laughs> All right, this month's epic items. And see, this is why, as I said, I do not show this at the beginning. Just do the fact that this will kind of spoil it. So I like to do it as a review. So right here, we got the Elder Scrolls Online exclusive figure. And is this... Did everyone get the Nord then? Okay, yes, the Nord figure will go... Okay, so everyone got the Nord this month. Okay. So we got the Nord right there. Let's see. Game of Thrones Mystery Mini. So show that. The Dragon Jerky right there. That is awesome. From Loot Crate Labs, apparently, is what it says. Dragon Shield Screen Cleaner. 20-sided stress dice. Okay, so it is dice. 20-sided polyhedral dice. Okay, have not said that before, so I'm glad I got it right. And the Dragon Slayer tag. Okay, awesome. So, this month's crate, as I said, there's been better crates. Pro honestly, the March crate, the one with Titanfall and Tag on Titan, that's been my favorite so far, just because it had a bunch of awesome stuff. And this stuff is pretty cool, too. But it's mostly just, like, you know, little, like, trinkets and knickknacks and everything, like... Actually, I'm going to try and do it right now if I can, but yeah. Um, I'm not really going to count the jerky because I'm going to eat that. That's going to be edible, so that's going to go away. But including everything, even like the screen cleaner, let's say we'll just put that here. Yeah, like, okay, that's not working. Pretty much everything from this month's crate fits in one hand. So it's one of those types of crates. And honestly, this is a lot better than other crates I've gotten because I think the only one I really didn't get into was the January one, which was launch. So, I mean, it was the first one of the year as well and it was my first loot crate. So I was expecting it to be kind of iffy. This one is cool, but as I said, it's mostly just little like trinkets and knickknacks and such, but a whole dragon themed thing, which is pretty cool. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario signing off. Don't know what I'm doing with my hands, but thank you for watching, everyone. I appreciate the support, the viewership, everything like that. And again, as I said, if you are interested in getting one of these loot crates, again, some months are better than others, but if you're interested in getting one, there is a referral link down below in the description, which helps me out. The reason why I'm stressing that is due to the fact that I want to be transparent with you all so you all know it's a referral link because I'm not trying to trick anyone. But if you don't want to use a referral link, if you're against them, if you don't want to help me out, it's understandable. Just go on to lootcrate.com. You can order your own from there. Anyways, I really think I need some sleep, you guys, so I'm going to render this out and go to bed. That's about it. Later, everyone.